Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. Mitch English along with Andrea Jackson and Matt Doolittle. Some tech bros are causing quite a bit of a stir for crashing a women's only tech conference in Orlando. Here's what happened. Hundreds of men attended the get together, which was actually attended for women in tech and for those who claim to identify as non-binary. However, the tech bros decided to crash the party in an effort to get in front of the recruiters for job interviews. The conference is a chance for participants to meet the biggest names in tech, such as Apple, Amazon, Salesforce, and Google. So who is in the wrong here? The women who are upset the men showed up, the tech bros, or the organizers for offering it to a select few while excluding Men, we want you to sound off on this, but first we're going to check in with our roundtable to discuss their reaction to this story. Of course, you can leave a comment on our socials, our Instagram. If it's good, we'll talk yeah, about we it will. on the show. All right, Mitch, we'll start with you. Okay, first off, so a little, a little history. These men went there and they said, well, we're going to say on the paper that we're non-binary, but we're all, we, we actually, outside of this conference, we're men. And so it was set up for women and non-binary uh, folks, so it was very inclusive. And I can't see, we're in this world. That's the that's the world that we're in now, is the fact that you can't be, you, you can't just uh, pick and choose the names that you want or the people that you want to go by. We're out of that, that way of living now. And if everybody has to follow these rules, everybody has to follow but, these rules. But so it's, it's not following the rules. It's not inclusive if you're excluding a certain group of people. Okay, I'll give you that. But, okay. but they could say, well, let's say today I uh, identify as non-binary. Why can't I go there and, and basically, you know, do what the, these guys have done? I, I see that they did nothing wrong. Yeah. They adhered to the rules because they did say that they were non-binary. For the day. For the day. And you're allowed to do that these days. I'm sorry, that's where yeah. we're at. Hugo, what do you say? I say I blame the tech bros on this. I think the women, if they wanted an inclusive just women's conference, you just have ladies. It's their fault they couldn't recruit enough women. Now the tech bros, for them invading the women's space, that's on them. If they want to be in front of these recruiters, they need to make their own organization just men. I think we live in a society today that everyone's way too sensitive and all let the non-binary people in because then you'll be canceled if you don't. I think they, the guys should just make their own organizations have the recruiters there and not allow women in and the women should not have allowed but but what about it but then you have a woman that says well I identify as a man do you see what I'm saying how is that any uh, different than a non-binary person say well um today I just uh, you know what I'm saying if you if you're going to stay inclusive and I agree with you what you're saying but you, you have to just say all right there's going to be people that are there and then take it on their merit that all right are they really you know the person that's doing the interview has to decide all right is this person really who they're saying they are you know what I'm saying well, well you brought up a woman that you brought up a woman that identifies as a, as a man. Okay, accepted. Well, show me that you're a man. Show me your driver's license. Oh, okay. I mean, if you're well, a that's man, illegal. you've gone through everything. <laughs> so show me your driver's license, and that makes you a man. Okay, yeah. I, so pr proof that you've you, you've worked for the the, call, uh, the the title, I guess is what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to have you go behind a curtain. No, exactly. You're not just going to show up dressed also. as a man, but you're really a woman just to get into the events. Okay, so, so there would be credential uh, issues that, that you would have to deal with, and then people would say that, right. that, well, why would I have to prove it, you know, that sort of thing, but I understand what you're saying. I think this was heavily on the organizers, honestly, and, and Mitch, you and I attend a lot of industry-exclusive uh, uh, conferences where they don't let people in. If they're, say, we go to CES every year in Vegas, if you're not a part of the media or the technology companies that are paid to get in, you don't get in, the public is not allowed in. So you can restrict people from getting into these. I think the organizers, just opened the floodgates and allowed this type of, of chaos to happen because they didn't have specific rules to it or said, well, okay, we, we need to look more into this before they put that out there because they knew this was coming. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, with all this that has been happening, this is all uh, coming to a head in quite some time. That eventually we're going to see and hear these kind of stories more and more often. Very true. And, and maybe also maybe the top recruiters that the guys want to get in front of, maybe they're searching for more female candidates. True. And that's the reason they're attending this female-oriented event. It could be the case. Uh, we'd love to hear what you have to say about it. You can always drop us a uh, email, of course. Mm -hmm. Just go to flash at dailyflashshow.com. You can also go to our website, dailyflashshow.com. Leave us a comment on Instagram. Uh, am I wrong? Is Matt wrong? Is Andrea wrong? Is Hugo wrong? Are we all right? We Ooh. love hearing that, too. But we'd love to hear your comments <laughs> no matter what.